So the playoffs have started in the Football League. They've come to an end in the non-league. And in the National League, they are coming to an end this weekend. Uh, so today, as of recording Saturday, um, they are about to have the National League playoff final between Boreham Wood and Tramway Rovers. Why I've come on here today is I want to talk about the pricing of the tickets. Um, so non-league football is £20 max and it tends to be between around £12 to around 20 uh, So that gives us an average of about £16. Okay, so the final is at Wembley, uh, which it has been since it um, has been built, besides one season when Wimbledon got promoted, that was at Eastlands, or so Etihad Stadium. So, level one, category one tickets are £41, right? And not only do you have to pay £41, these ticket sales will be subject to a booking fee of £3 per ticket. So that's £44, and there's no concessions or, or uh, under-18s. So that's just the same for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're 5 or 50, you pay £44 for that seat in the stadium. Level 1, Category 2. £36 and £18 for under-16s. So, once again, £36 with the £3 per ticket booking fee for, you know, God knows why. That's £39 and it's £19.50 for under-16s, which is an awful lot. That is ridiculous for an under-16. Not only that, <coughs> you have the privilege to pay for how it gets to you, which is fair enough if you're having it via the post uh, so £2.50 per order if you choose to have your ticket come through the Royal Mail uh, so that puts you at £46.50 but maybe you'd like to collect at Wembley now I support Hereford as some of you know uh, I book tickets from time to time on the website uh, it's, it's a free collection from the ground um, I'm pretty sure that's the case for most uh, teams across the country. That it's free to collect if you collect from the stadium. It doesn't really cost uh, the club anything, so why should it cost you? However, if you decide you want to collect it at Wembley, it's another £1.95. Uh, so that would be on top of your 44 so that would be £45.95. So maybe you're thinking, I don't want to pay £2 to, to collect my ticket. I'm going to print it off at home. That'll be free, right? Because you're using your own electric and you're using your own paper and your own ink. Oh, no. Not at Wembley. Print at home, if requested, will be charged at £1 per order. Why? It doesn't cost you anything to write a fucking email. It is so ridiculous. You know, it's. It, I don't know if it's Wembley with these. It was the same last season. I don't know if it's Wembley or, you know, the uh, na National League as a whole. But if it's Wembley, then bugger off somewhere else. Play it at Villa Park. Play it somewhere else where, you know, it's never going to be sold out. And that is just how it is. So it doesn't need to be played at Wembley. Not at these prices. I went to non league. Uh, finals day, uh, when we got to the final and lost to Morpeth and Halifax beat Grimsby. That was £25. Uh, and you got to watch both games. Um, so that's reasonable. And I don't understand why that isn't under the same sort of idea. Um, £25 is... is I think it's a good price, but no, not not here. To have to pay to print your own ticket off in your own home is absolutely disgraceful. Like, like literally, it's an email sent and you're 
you know, it doesn't affect anyone. It's so ridiculous. How dare they offer one pound to print off at home? <clears throat> when the game kicks off, uh, the attendance will probably be around 20,000. And the reason for that is because of these stupid ticket prices. The fact is, whoever club you are, under a certain level, you have lots of people wanting to go for the day out. We took 21,000 to uh, Wembley. We average sort of about 3,000 that season. Uh, so that's a big increase. You know, that's like seven times the amount. Um, so that means that there's a lot of, you know, day trippers and day goers, which is fine. That's th that's fine. You know, that's totally understandable. But they're put off by having to pay forty six pound and fifty pence for postage, or a pound printed off at home, or two pound to collect at Wembley and stand in a queue to collect a ticket. Like I wish they'd explain why you have to pay to print your ticket off at home. Why is there a three pound booking fee? I would rather just say it's forty four pound. Because then you know where you are. It's like when you pay for delivery. Like no matter what you're buying, usually it's like, oh free delivery. But you always put off a just a tiny bit if you have to pay for delivery on something, particularly if it's you know rather expensive or whatever. Certainly I am. You know, twenty pounds for a kid to watch a non league game. That's crazy. And, you know, I don't, like I say, I don't know if it's a Wembley thing, but don't play it there. If it's, if it's this situation, don't play it there. Because there are so many other grounds it could be played at. Uh, when Hereford got promoted, it was played at Leicester. Uh, when Shrewsbury got promoted, it was played at Stoke. As when Wimbledon got promoted, it was played at Eastlands. Uh, when Doncaster got promoted, it was played at Stoke. It could be played anywhere around the country. But, you know, this isn't helping anyone. They haven't explained. They didn't explain last season. And it's a fucking joke to expect people to pay such a fortune to watch a non-league game. And it's... I would say it is a Wembley thing because if you look at the FA Cup prices... They're crazy as well. It's like £116. And that's crazy. So, I don't... I Maybe it's expensive for the National League to rent the stadium or whatever uh, for the final. But like I say, nobody's forcing them to go there. Are they? Um, they could have had a game... They could have had the game at Stoke. Because Stoke are playing away on Sunday. Uh, and, and, and to be frank, Tottenham are playing on Saturday, so you could go to a stadium with good grass. Uh, you could play at a League One stadium. Sunderland, their, their, their season's finished. Uh, Bradford, their season's finished. Cardiff, their season's finished. But no, we have to play at Wembley. Which, you know, Wembley is the home of English football, I understand that. But this is putting people off. This is why people aren't going. This is why there was only 15,000 Tramia fans last year. Tramia are a huge club. They could have easily taken 25, 30,000. They didn't because of this exact reason. Unless you're a diehard fan, then you're not going to pay this. You know, or, you know... If you have uh, BT Sport at home, which would televise the game, then maybe you think, oh, I'll just watch it at home. You know, and screw the event. Because of, you know, I mainly have a problem with the £3 booking fee and the um, the way you collect your ticket. As I say, I totally understand the postage thing, that's fine. But print off at home should be free, as should be collection at Wembley. 
Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below on this um, this subject. I don't cover the non-league much, uh, despite being a obviously a non-league supporter. Um, so I'd love to know the thoughts of you fellow non-league fans down below on this subject. And if you're a Tramia fan and you've uh, watched the game, uh, tell me your thoughts down below. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry it was a bit of a rant. Uh, I'll probably be back with another video hopefully later or certainly tomorrow. I am Mike and I will see you soon.